Hi, this is Corrine with another page out of my Smashbook. I'm using a Smashbook from close to my heart. I'll put a link in the description box of where I got mine from. And this here is some packaging from Graphic 45's ephemera cards. I love Graphic 45's packaging, so I've been saving it all lately and trying to use it up in my Smashbook page. Here I'm using a four and a half by three and a half photo in black and white, which is my favorite to use. And I decided to cut that packaging into a tag shape. So I grabbed some scraps that I had sitting around. I love using up scraps and I'm just trying to incorporate them into the page. And once I was happy with my arrangement, I just went ahead and stapled those pages together to hold them while I work on the rest of my page. Now here I'm taking some white acrylic paint and just lightly going around the edges of my photo to give it a little bit of a distressed look. The photo being that it was black and white and it was also a little bit washed out, I felt like it needed something on the edges. So I decided to use some paint, which I like to do every now and then. And I just use a dry brush to do that. I got a little bit over my husband's head there, so I just took a baby wipe and wiped that off. Now I'm using some canvas tags by Teresa Collins. These I've had in my stash probably 15 years, I would say. I do like them, but I never think to use them. So I pulled these out and I'll just add that to the side of my photo. And I decided I wanted to add a little brad to the side. So I'm just kind of looking through and deciding which brad I thought went well with it. I ended up choosing a pink brad, which matched my one of my layers of paper in the back there. So I'm just using my Tim Holtz, Holtz paper piercer and adding my brad in. And now these are some rub-ons that again, I've had in my stash for so long. Matter of fact, um, probably 15 to 20 years. And the first piece that I cut out here, it does not adhere to the sheet the way it should. And I think that's just because they were so old. So as you'll see here, I try to use this, but it sticks to the wrong side of the paper. So I end up having to just throw it out and use a different piece. They're actually really good rub-ons and, and they go on very easily. I just think, like I said, they've been in my stash for so long that some of them didn't work. But I was able to use the rest and I was happy with how they worked. So I'm just using my bone folder and adding those to where I see that they will stick out from the side. The good thing about rub-ons is if a piece does not actually get adhered, you can just lay it back down and rub back over it and it'll go on perfectly. So I just did that too both the left and the right side. And I was actually just trying to use up these rub-ons since um, I didn't want the rest of them to go bad. I'm pulling out a journaling card from one of the smash books and I want, want to add that into my layers. So I'm just cutting it down so it'll slide behind it. And I will use a little ATG tape to adhere it down. This is another little piece that I just had in my stash, a little journaling card. So I'm tucking that back there as well. Just trying to add a little interest to my page. And now I pull out a title that says Blissful. I had this previously cut from the Cameo. And I'm just going to adhere that down. These tweezers are tweezer bee tweezers and they work great um, just to hold little pieces like that while I add my glue or to be able to add them to the page. So I added my glue and then I remembered I need to go ahead and glue down my photo. That way it's not moving around when I add my sentiment.
So now I realized I'm happy with that. So I added glue to the back of my tag, adhered that down, and I added a few enamel dots and that's all there was to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and thanks so much for watching. Come find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog spot, all at Corrine's Creations. Thanks for watching.